Now, as you can see, we have the John John all turned right side out. Now, I still have that opening on the inside lining. I'm going to reach my hand in there and find that hole. Okay? And all I'm going to do is just grab the lining, not the stripes. I'm going to put a couple little pins in this to hold it shut. And I'm simply going to take an eighth of an inch top stitch right there to close this off. It's on the lining. No one will see it. And if you're doing this reversible, of course, I would stitch in the exact same color of the fabric. And you're still not going to see it. It's going to be so small. And there we have it. That's what's going to close it up. The only thing missing now is some buttons and some snaps in the crotch to hold this together. And you have a finished garment. We're going to be putting in one of these buttons with the little humps on the back versus the four buttons. Um, I think this is called a shank button, but I'm not really sure. I can't remember. So what you're going to do to put this on, first things first, is thread a hand needle. And I go ahead and double my thread, as you can hopefully see right there. And then to make a knot, I hold the thread, twist it around my finger in a loop like that, and I'm just going to roll that back and forth, and it will make a knot for me. As you can see right there. Okay? So now I'm going to take my fabric where I'm putting the button on, and I'm going to loop it over my finger just like that. And I'm actually going to put the knot on the outside of the fabric. And I'm going to run this stitch maybe four times. And I'm coming in and out the same hole to keep the back neat and not sloppy. And it's about three eighths of an inch, I mean, um, an eighth of an inch to three sixteenths. And I'm just repeating that two or three times to make sure that's nice and sturdy and on there before I mess with the button. Now I'm going to take my button, I'm just going to thread it on my needle, just like that, and I'm going to do the same exact thing I was doing. I am simply grabbing that same bit of fabric over and over again. But now, I'm going to go through the needle, through the button, back to the fabric. Through the button, back through the fabric. And I'm going to do that probably five, six times because I want this really secure. This type of button is used on coats. It's used on cute things for little kids. And um, pretty much anywhere you're using this, you want something secure because it's holding something together. It's not a pretty decorative button. And you're not putting 25 on it like you would a shirt or something like that. This is what's holding it together. So I want that really secure. So once I feel like I have that enough, you see I took it through the button again, but I haven't gone through the fabric. To tie a knot, I'm going to take it through the actual thread right there. Take my needle through my thread, and I'm going to make a little loop. And then I'm going to run my needle through that loop. And then I'm going to pull my loop tight. Okay, you see that? I made another loop, and I'm going to run my needle through that loop. And I've just made a secure knot. Okay, now it's not going anywhere. My knot is tied. And all you do is cut it and you're done. Okay, and there we have it. Now I didn't show you guys how to do a buttonhole because every machine is different. You need to look at your manual. How to put snaps in. I have a John John or a pair of overalls right here and what I'm going to do is add the snaps to the crotch. And these are the pieces for the one half of the snap. Um, you've got your little teethy thing <laughs> um, and your actual button part. And we're going to put those together. Now they come two different ways. You can buy them just like this and they make a little gun which is what we're going to use today. Or they make a little plastic thing you can hammer. I have never had success with a hammer thing. I really recommend saving your coupons to Joann's or Hancock's and just buying the gun. I think it's $11. So you can get it for $6. Um, and it's came in handy a number of times, not only in making things, but also um, when clothes have broken, which has happened quite regular to me, like overalls on babies, the snaps sometimes get loose, things like that. And you can fix them, which has been really nice. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the teeth and I just place them where I want them and I literally shove them through the fabric so the teeth are coming out the other side. 
That way I know exactly where they're going. Um, you see that? It's a little hard to see, but the little spikies are sticking through just a little bit. Okay? And what I'm going to do is take this piece and place it right on top. Okay? Then I'm going to come in with my gun. And the yellow part has a little hole that will fit right over that piece. And push. And voila, you have your staff. So how I like to match them up is go ahead and see where exactly this is going to be. Now I would probably do the whole line across here and then do the other side. But for um, sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I like to put them together. So you've got your snap. And then I'm just going to put, place it where I want it on here. And you can go ahead and feel where would be a good place based on that. And then, now that I have that placement, I can feel through it right there. I can take these teeth and I just kind of push them through where I want them. Okay? And that's how you would mark this other side. And I just stick it through till the little teeth actually come through. Just push it with your fingers. And you can hopefully see those little spiky teeth coming through. Now you can take this piece off. Put the spikes on there. Just set them right on top of where your spikes are. Get your gun. And all you do literally is smash the thing together. The teeth go into the little snap. Squeeze real hard. And I like to move it over and squeeze to make sure it's really tight on there. And there you go. There's your snap. Just like that. Now I'm going to repeat that on the other two snaps and this John John will be finished.